Hello all of my crafty friends. I hope you're doing well today. I'm Terry Day and this is Terry Day Diamond Paintings and whatnot. Today we're going to do two post reviews. Both of these are special shaped diamond paintings. They're both partials and they came from New Homie. The first one is the special shapes heart. I thought this was really cute. I, I really do enjoy doing these little partials and special shapes and rhinestones uh, between my, what I call my big, bigger projects, which are little projects to most. But uh, I uh, typically, right now I'm working on a 40 by 50, I believe. Um, I have it uh, kitted up and I have taken off the uh, clear coat plastic off of the diamond painting. It is a port glue. I personally do not like the wrinkling sound of the plastic, so I do replace all my port glue plastic covers with release papers. But um, I love doing these in between the, the projects or just to give myself a break. I was really satisfied doing this. It was quick. It was easy. It was just kind of an instant result. Um, we had 10 different uh, special shapes in this. Um, most of them were rhinestones. And then we had um, some petal shaped smooth top with an iridescent coating. Over here through all the little flower petals on these. I'm going to bring you down a little closer. That way you can see the um, actual drills that were placed. Again, this was just a pleasure to work on. I hope you can see the sparkle in that. I will be honest about the rhinestone drills. They were pretty trashy. And trashy, I'm meaning that uh, a lot of them were scratched up. They didn't have the brightest shine, but once I got it all complete, you can see that shine just fine. And I did have plenty of leftovers, so I was able to be picky on what I put onto the canvas. Um, just some beautiful, beautiful shapes. Here the, uh, right through here are the smooth topped petal shaped with the iridescent coating on them, which really does make them sparkle. We did have several different colors of rhinestones as well as, as, well as different, um, diameters of the rhinestones. You do end up with this gorgeous in in result uh, i am going to seal this diamond painting uh, i will probably do a video on that the poured glue around the edge really did go past the area that you needed for drills it is sticky over here on the the edges with the run over um i'm not going to frame this however i am going to put it into my um port portfolio and I, I just don't want that to collect dust and debris over time. If y'all have any other uh, suggestions other than just sealing it, go ahead and leave those comments down below. And also, while you're down there commenting, if you like what I'm doing, would like to see more of my videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what I'm doing and you don't enjoy the videos, then give me a thumbs down. But, um... If you do feel so inclined, I would also ask you to go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. But we're going to go ahead and measure this canvas. It advertises a 30 by 30. However, the drill area or the image area does not measure that. But just to do a quick check, this is measuring 30. by 30 is the total canvas area. The actual drill area, or in this case, the image area, is actually 24 by 24. So you have a 24 by 24 image area, and I will be cutting the borders off of this, and again, mounting it onto black paper to put into my portfolio. I am going to go ahead and show you my leftover drills. 
Um, the leftover drills were, they were plentiful. There, there was absolutely enough. I just kitted them up in these little four, four containers. Get, there was 10 different shapes. So these were the, number one was the bigger faceted rhinestone. They were beautiful. They just don't illuminate so many different colors. Most of them are upside down right now. Let's see if I can get some of them to flip over for you. Yeah, actually, beautiful. And again, there was plenty. I did have to pick through them and pick out the best ones, but you know, they gave you enough to where you were actually able to do that. Come on, little drill, get back in there. These were some really small seed shape rhinestones, also faceted. And then we had some, almost a champagne color, small sh sh seed shape as well. And I am dropping them all over the place. Yeah. Go ahead and pick all those up and put them back into the container. Some of these I will save. Um, the small rhinestones I probably will not save. I do have a little bit of a collection of those going on. And as I said, these weren't weren't the best quality. These this is a larger seed shape faceted drill. Um, this really puts off a lot of different colors. It's ruby red and some golds coming through there. Some oranges. I thought those, those were absolutely beautiful. And then we have our rhinestones, uh, the small rhinestones. I'm just gonna show you through the container. There's no need for me to take those out, but as you, you can see, there was absolutely plenty to do this project with. And then these for the leftovers as well. So, again, this came from uh, New Homie. I'll list below what the um, cost was and the link to, if you want to buy it. Uh, I didn't show you the, these. These were those beautiful petals. Uh, again, they're orange. They do have an iridescent coating on them. And as you can see, they give you way more than what you actually need. They're flying everywhere. All right, I'm gonna set that off to the side, and then the, these. This is my trash drills that I decided not to put on the diamond painting. Apparently, we have some static action going on in here. With these two, they just had a, a dark mark on top of the. Uh, drill so I, I i just didn't want to use that one i don't know if the camera's picking that up or not but most of them had uh that were trash just don't have a good coating on the back so you were getting light reflected through the bottom of them which make them makes them look odd on the canvas some of them were concave and all those will go into my little jar that I keep all my little trash drills in. I have no idea why I'm saving them. It just seemed to be the thing to do. So I bought me a pretty little glass container with a stopper on it, a cork, and I've been pouring all my drills, trash drills into this. I'll probably We'll probably uh, go ahead and throw the regular rhinestone ones out of this kit into this container as well. Again, it was just, there was a lot of trash, but, you know, able to pick through enough of them to get, get through the diamond painting. And 
And my next one is also from New Homie. It's going to be a diamond painting of a, a little girl. Um, a little, it looks like a doll to me, so I'm going to call her a doll. Um, I'll have to say that on that particular diamond painting, when it came, the, the colors that they had on the drill field really made her look extremely creepy. I have to admit that I do have a, <laughs> I'm not scared of many things and I don't have many phobias, but my one phobia is um, porcelain dolls. For some reason, they really creep me out. On the website, this was just an absolutely stunning image. And once I got the drills on her, she is cute. I'll give her that. It's not, it's not her little fault that, uh, you know, porcelain dolls kind of freak me out. I think she looks a little little bit evil but that that's okay she can be that way that's her prerogative but again uh this was uh actually really fun to work on especially with the little thoughts going through my mind of uh, you know my phobia with the uh, porcelain dolls uh, she's not a porcelain doll i do not believe but uh, that that's what she reminded me of uh, again we had some special dr uh shape drills throughout this diamond painting as well all these little rosettes we had two different colors goes through her dress here and you can see that they're up here on her hat as well the rest uh, we did have a couple of the little uh, seed shape drills as well doing um, making up the the leaves of the flowers the rest of the drills on this canvas were rhinestone i'm gonna bring you in and let you take a look at the uh drills There's a little hat. Her hat is very cute. And there's those special sh shaped uh, little rosettes and uh, the seed shaped ones that uh, make the petals of the roses with her little pink bow and her hair, hair here. And her beautiful golden hair. Right through here, I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be, but um, I'm gonna say maybe she has a a little purse. Maybe she's holding a little purse. If y'all think otherwise, let me know down in the comments, and then we'll move down to the rest of her dress. Again, it was fun to work on. I um I enjoyed it. I like these quick little projects. I think uh, overall this was a good quality canvas. Um, I had the same problems with the rhinestone drills in this kit that you just had to pick through them and pick out the best ones to put on. Um, I did go ahead and I've already stored those and thrown the uh, the the trash into my little container, so I don't don't have that to show you. But that is what uh, I have been working on the last couple of days, just having some fun, doing some mindless diamond painting. I didn't have to think real hard about this. Um, as I said, it's just kind of an instant satisfaction. I don't know why I can't say that. That word is in my mind, but anyway. Um, that is all I have for you on this review. I do have some more uh, new homie special drill kits. I, um, probably about three weeks once I started diamond painting, I decided just to buy, um, a, a stash of, uh, special shape drills, so, um, I can do some, um, baggings of those for you if you would like, um, but anyway, that is all I have for today. I hope that y'all have a great day. Continue crafting. Please be kind to one another. Try to do one good thing for somebody today. As I said, it could be a simple smile. Um, they have uh, released the mask mandate in my area. They do urge people that have medical problems or who are not vaccinated to continue wearing their masks. However, it is not a requirement. Uh, personal businesses do have the right to uh, ask that you continue wearing a mask and but at least now we're starting to get 
some restrictions lifted. So, I mean, we haven't been able to smile each other in so long. Just give a simple smile, a little head nod, hold the door for somebody. Just try to be kind. And with that, I'm going to let you go. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Have a great day and continue crafting on.